The 18th century philosopher Leibniz asked, why is there something rather than nothing? Science has described how our universe began with stunning success. But three centuries later, science is still unable to answer Leibniz's question. The scientific understanding of the Big Bang tells us a lot. It tells us about the dynamics and the contents and the evolution of the universe as it was at early times and as it's evolving into now. But science and our detailed scientific understanding of the Big Bang doesn't actually address the question of meaning. That's not science. It doesn't mean it's untrue, but it is different from science. And that's where bringing in other truths about the reality of human existence comes in. You know, we can describe the age of the universe, we can describe how stars and galaxies have evolved over time, we can describe all these things, but we can't answer why is there a universe at all? And why is there a universe that would evolve toward the point of having human beings that are having the kind of conversation we're having right now? Why, is, why are there concepts of, of uh, hatred and love and and why do people do things to each other that don't promulgate natural selection or, or survival of species that make no sense? You know, why, uh, why a lot of things just aren't answered through science? And, and I think most people, both Christian and non-Christian, are grateful for that because there's a lot of, of interesting things about life that don't have to do with measuring physical forces of nature. These scientist believers then say science must acknowledge its limits. But they also say faith must be consistent with what we know through science, rather than being based in what we don't know. For them, a god of the universe could hardly be threatened by any advances in human knowledge. That's why I think it's exciting as Christians to go exploring, because we're never going to find anything that's outside of God's realm. Everything is, uh, everything is part of this majestic creation, and the more you discover, the more amazed you get by uh, thinking about God. And so I, I think exploration is, is a divinely Christian activity, and people should be excited about it.